Hi everyone. Hi, this is Chandresa. I am the Influencer Marketing Director of Even Skin. And today we're having a conversation with two amazing influencers that have been contributing to the beauty and skincare industry for a while. Um, while I let everyone in, so today we're talking to Mary and we're talking to Jody Lynn, also known as Aging Naturally with Jody Lynn and Mary is known as Skin Obsessed Mary. Both are joining from different, different places and uh, we're going to have a conversation towards skincare, anti-aging and their contribution they uh, brought throughout different stages, the devices they have tested, the technology, and both of them have been contributing a lot into sharing the word out there about even skin, the technologies that have been constantly giving us feedback. So we thought it's going to be an amazing time for us to also celebrate uh, Women's History Month and get two amazing influencers joining it here today. And while I let everyone in, um, I'm also checking if Jodelyn is joining. Um, and we're going to go through questions and we're going to have a conversation um, about their journey, journey into YouTube and also the device that they have tested for a while. Um, okay. just waiting for them to i'm accepting them let me know girls if you are having any issue joining so as in instagram has many features all right i have jodo in here let me know if you can accept and join uh the event Hi, are you there? Hi. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for Mary to join as well. I'm accepting the meeting. I don't know, probably um, there's an issue. Can seem to get in. She's commenting. Oh, there she oh is. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> as all Instagram does something. I'm sending another, I'm sending another okay. letter, um, invite. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Is, doing is spring well, there yet? Um, had a it is almost. Today's very Oh, sunny. good. Um, how, I feel like it's been there. a very long winter. <laughs> it's getting a, it's getting a little bit better. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for some nice weather. I'm in Vegas, and a lot of people think it doesn't get cold here, but it does get cold. Yeah, for for us for us it gets cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a summer person, so I really like to enjoy my time outside. Really can't wait. Um, I am Mary. I I think you're here, but um, I'm sending an invite for you to join. And sorry, everyone, for taking your time. Um. She's get sending also a request. No, I'm just gonna no message her privately. Um, Hi everyone, it's so nice to see everyone. I can see them in the... And just to let everyone know, uh, we have a live Q&A, so everyone could ask a question towards Odilin or Matt or us. And we're going to try to take as much as we can, even though we don't want to um, take everyone's time and stay on this live. But it would be nice. I know um, Jody Lynn spends a lot Thank of you. time testing different devices and shares a lot on YouTube, so you can always reach her out. I know sometimes when you get questions and, and you send those questions to me, can you help me out with this one? So this is very nice because we have this community, uh, people asking many questions because it is a new industry, let's say, and we're using at-home devices, which is very helpful and important. 
but at the same time everyone needs to take care and of course yeah. different conditions and different skin conditions people um, need to take care uh is she i don't know i'm sending an invite and uh it says invited uh profile but i don't know why she cannot join okay for another request mm. well sorry everyone <laughs> uh time mary we're waiting for you I wonder what I can't join from it. I've had to use a phone. Uh, Mary, are you using? Are you on your phone or? Yeah. Oh. I think it's probably easier to do it from the phone, right? Yeah. Yes. You can actually only watch. Instagram not, lives from not join. Um, yeah, but yeah, you can only join through an iPhone. She's she's here, but I don't know why. Um, sending another invite. Can she, mm -hmm. Mary? Can you see us? Can I, I mean she, she made a comment, so I'm wondering if she can see us. I th think she she does because she also sends. Um, can you can you try go out of the live room and then probably join again and we can try it again but in the meantime um we can start the conversation probably just so for the people that are here joining um we can have a little chat and probably as 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 i was thinking okay what would be the first question to ask those uh those girls for the people that don't know um, we have been working together for a while. Um, Jody Lynn and Mary have been testing the, our devices and we set it back and forth <laughs> about the technology. <laughs> I know one of the you posted earlier and I saw that you had the devices close by and I was like, okay, I see the devices there. I know you were constantly using. Um, okay, now she sent another request. Mm, probably. She's joining now. I accepted the invite, Mary. Let me know if you can join. So um, I thought it would be a nice moment for uh, you guys to share. How did you start your YouTube channel? And how was this journey? Was this something that you have thought from the beginning? Or how did you decide that you're going to do this YouTube channel? And this much time into educating people about skincare devices technologies and um the i mean there is so much dedication for you to manage everything talking to different brands having a specific time to test those devices um i know it's going to take a lot of your time throughout growing your channel so i wanted to know how did you start this and, um how was this journey for you and this way people are going to know more yeah about, so uh, your um story. for me Honestly, I was really late to the game in starting my skincare journey. I didn't start until I was 47. I'm 51 now. And it, it was kind of like, and if any of you can relate, it was like waking up one morning going, oh my gosh, what just happened right now? <laughs> I felt like my face was just like, it was go going downhill. Um, and I thought, well, let's see what we can do. Um, I never even wore SPF. Um, daily. I was actually a sun worshiper, Ooh, but I had no idea, you know, so I had a lot of premature aging and a lot of sun damage. And I thought, okay, um, what do I want to do? And for me personally, Botox fillers, that wasn't my route, no judgment. It just wasn't my route. And so um, I looked into skincare and just everything that I can do. And I thought, 
Huh, let's, uh, I found that there was kind of a, a gap as far as just really seeing what we could do without Botox and fillers. I wanted to kind of, uh, you know, journal uh, what I can do. And it could have gone really bad. <laughs> but it didn't. I, I kept telling myself, okay, if you can transform your body, because, you know, a lot of people lose weight, they uh, weight train, they exercise, and people can transform their bodies. And I think, well, why couldn't you do that with your face? And I just need to know how to do it and what tools. So I did a lot of research and yeah, and that's kind of how it got started. Actually, I was going to start doing makeup, um, but I I just uh -huh. was really getting and I finally was like, wait, I'm just loving this whole skincare journey. And there was so much information that I thought was kind of missing and kind of a gap um, with that route. Mm -hmm. So that's where I went. And um, yeah, and I'm pleasantly uh, happy you know, with, with the changes. And I think, you know, I want to educate and let women know that if that's something you want to look into, you know, you can make change. You can. Yeah, yeah definitely. But did you go first at a dermatologist or esthetician to go and check like, okay, what do I need to do? Or did you go online on YouTube and see those amazing influencers that are posting so much content about different devices and technologies how to take care of your skin there's so much on youtube but i would like to know like what was your first my first step, step was um yeah going to see a dermatologist and i had really bad hormonal acne so i had it right here and i never had acne problems ever not even as a teenager but i wow. had major when i was going through menopause and all of that i got acne problems uh, around 47. and so um a dermatologist put me on retinol and then told me also the anti-aging benefits of retinol and then that started my journey um and then they were telling me about you know like botox and fillers and i was like it's not really where i want to go for me personally so um uh, yeah so then that led me to youtube and honestly i wasn't I think that Mary was more into watching YouTube for, she's been watching YouTube videos for a long time and I was late to that game too. <laughs> and I was like, why, why am I not going on YouTube and see what I could do? And um, yeah, then I became obsessed and you know, now I watch YouTube all the time, obviously. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, but um, yeah, so that kind of led, uh, that led me to go and dive deep. And I was like, it, it was just amazing to me like, gosh, what's, what, what is, is going on? Like, there's so much. And I wanted to make it simple for people as well, because it can be super overwhelming. It, it can be, it can be. And we get this question uh, all the time, but what, about like different devices, what do I listen? And also like, it, because there's so much content and at the same time, not all devices are designed for everyone. You need to decide and you need to research more about your skin condition, the stage you are, and like, what do you need to treat at the moment? Probably you can start with some, a few skincare uh, products and then start to integrate different devices, depending on the stages of your skincare routine. And sometimes they just see a video, let's say they watch your video, they're like, I want to have Jody Lynn's. Um, results and they go straight for example to a radio frequency device and we also try to recommend to everyone to start low start for example, even with our lumo we say okay you start mm -hmm. with the lowest level and you start increasing by time and you see what you have but there's another question that we get um those devices for example don't work or those the technologies don't work and i would like to know like how is your experience or how would you ex explain to someone that those technologies are actually having an impact because I know from your experience you didn't go to have a different an injection or a botox or any of that um, I would like to know how did you realize or how do you feel towards technology and um, yeah the, the effects that those technology can bring you yeah in a clinic, I think also that the biggest misconception about beauty devices is that is that they don't work and a lot of time what I um, what I hear and what I kind of do a little bit more research it's a lot of people give up too quickly. So beauty devices um, are going to take time. They work, but they take uh, they take more time than I think than what people want. We always want that quick fix, 
And yeah. when you go into a professional treatment, it's going to cost you a lot more money. They're definitely a lot more powerful and you will get a little bit more of it, obviously a quicker result. Um, but, but a lot of times, depending on what you're doing, you need to do three or four treatments. And it really, again, like you were, you were talking about congestion, it really depends also on where you are at in the aging process. So, um, there's a lot of factors that go into vault and that's the same with at home beauty devices. You need to be consistent. They do work and, um, they, you know, you just got to be patient and you're building collagen and that takes time. That's not something that is overnight as much as we'd love <laughs> it's not <laughs> and so i think that there's this um and, and another thing also to kind of when you're talking about the lumo that has that rf plus ems um, uh, electric muscle stimulation i think that that ems technology is also wonderful in that it helps to motivate people to be consistent because you do get an instant effect with EMS. Um, and that does go down at the beginning, but it is this nice, like, oh, you know what I mean? It gives you that motivation to continue. And then when you, you know, to allow that RF to really work, to build that collagen over time. So, a lot of people think that you're going to see major results in 30 days and um, being a device user for the past couple of years and I know what you can do in 30 days and what you can't do. Some people are definitely going to see some changes in 30 days, but there's, um, uh, you know, most of us, it's going to take longer. And I always say these most subtle change is change. <laughs> Say it's not that instant lift that you get and to be honest when we discussed with uh, our team adding the EMS it was more also part of the plan because people also when you use the device or when you use something you're like okay what what, what do I see but we have the RF so the LUMO is radio frequency based and this is what is bringing the long-term results towards the skin tightening effect but the lifting and the toning it's from the EMS and also like the LED and all of those combined have this uh, effect, but it was more part of that, that um, benefit that people want to usually get from the beginning. So radio frequency is definitely the mode to go when you're looking for long-term results as part of the, everything that we uh, are doing on the back. But EMS is an amazing tool or an amazing mode to give this, let's say you have an event and you want to prep for, for that and just try to do a lift. Okay. I'm still trying to get married just for everyone to know. Still trying to get, get Mary online, but um, I get the notification, Mary. I'm trying to get you in, but it says that you're unable to join. Um, I'm trying probably get out of the live room and join again, and probably just gonna reset or try to take the app, kill the app first, and then join again because I don't know what the issue is, and I'm so sorry for this. Um, but probably you can join the after you, you try this. Um, another question, um, I had this uh, written down because I, I always want to work. Um, there are so many technologies because for us, when we're working for designing, we do this on research based and we, we, we've been in, uh, in the industry for a while. So we're kind of aware of the market and everything. But when coming from the other side, as you testing different technologies, how did you decide, okay, this is a device I don't want to go to or this is a brand I don't want to go to because I don't trust or whatever like there are so many reasons you would choose something over something else but you also have this YouTube channel to share so much information and to educate everyone how do you find how do you navigate this process because I know probably many people are um, questioning this process okay how does Jitter try, uh, try so many devices that's such a good qualities? question and the first thing that I look at is the company so how transparent are they, uh, you know, where are they at in innovation and uh, how's their customer service, um, all of those things. And are they willing to chat with me? Um, so the brand is really important to me. Um, that That's the first thing that I do look at. And uh, the, then I go into, okay, what is this technology? How, what does it provide? 
Um, is it something that is going to be effective? And I kind of look at specifications. There are some brands that won't allow me to know the specifications. And so for me, it's like, well, I don't, sorry, you know, and I'm okay with that. It's like, nope, I'm not going to try it. So I'm, I'm really, um, I'm really picky. And because it's, it's really important to me to be able to, you know, share effective uh, beauty tools on my channel uh, to people. So that's really important uh, to me. So that's something I look into. And then I'm just really involved and do a lot of research on what is really effective at, at home. Um, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. So radio frequency, EMS, microcurrent, yeah. LED. Um, and so there's a lot of, you know, uh, highly regarded people research that I look into to ensure that it is something that does work, that it is effective and that the yeah. technology is, yeah, going to be effective and research-based. <laughs> Most of the people um, that probably are not going to a clinic to get the, let's say, Morpheus A, which is a very popular uh, that uh, usually people get to get those RF and microneedling um, benefits, they're going to go on internet and just try to find, okay, this technology works, but they're going to end up on your um, account, for example, and try to get as much information as possible. So at the same time, I just want to say thank you for taking so much time into um, researching yourself to to uh, for devices and brands so that you can educate the audience out there so people don't have to go through the same steps and try to figure out what's working yeah. and what's not. I like to do a yeah. lot of before and, and afters as well. So, um, you know, and if you you can see just with my journey on my channel and, and Instagram that I do, but just how my skin has really changed over time. And um, so at this point in the game, I'm really looking to maintain. And so that's important too. If I'm testing a device that I'm at this point in the game, that I is also maintaining my results because we, because you know, you're, you're aging all the time, every day, every minute. So Yeah, and it's all, also a combination of a diet, a healthy diet, and uh, exercises, taking care of your skin, including devices is kind of the next step. So it's amazing to have those opportunities to take care of your skin. And as you're saying, we're constantly aging. So as long as we're taking care of ourselves, and I'm so happy because we've gotten to this point that there's so much information from people like you, Mary, and everybody else. And it's empowering women to go through a store, get a device or purchase online mm -hmm. and just start the skincare at their, need, at their house. So they don't have to go to a clinic to spend thousands of dollars in order to get those amazing benefits or grow through um, needles and knives right. because not everyone feels comfortable to do that. So very important because we're at the stage that I know that this word is getting out there more and more and people are feeling more confident using devices at home. So, um, yeah, it's, and it's very special. I think that you made a really good point too, that it's not just beauty devices. It's really a holistic approach. And I think that it's something that I really try to uh, discuss on my channel as well is that when you start a beauty device, it's really important that you have a good skincare routine already in place. So if that's not something yeah. that, you know, you have in place, that is number one, because I don't think that your beauty device is going to work as effectively. So that is like, you know, getting yeah. that skincare routine, getting, you know, doing some exfoliation, really, you know, taking a good month to get that routine down pat is really important. And then also SPF is really important. So um, it's... <laughs> Really? Yes, exactly. Yes, well. <laughs> and I just think if you're, you know, you don't, if you're putting your time and effort into a radio frequency device, this is building collagen. And so the sun is, you know, degrading collagen. <laughs> so you're just kind of like wasting your time. And I don't want people to waste their time, you know. Uh, so it's, SPF is just, it's a must. Um, yeah. 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 And I would love to hear the story when you got when you first got the Lumo and the Venus, how did you feel? What was the experience? What was it different from everything else that you tested? I know you have both of those devices. So this mm -hmm. is the Lumo and this is the Venus. This is designed for the face, neck, massage, and the eye area. And you can also treat the lips. So 
try to get people at Jody Lane to test those devices and um, inform about the technology. But I would like you to share what was the first experience and um, did you feel like those devices are going to be there with you to stay for a long period of time? Because I know you constantly mm -hmm. are trying the devices, trying to share some content about this is what I do, this is my timer, this is how, how I manage to do um, all the sessions. So I would like you to share. Uh, yeah, that's a good that's a great question so with this device my first impression is first of all it's a quality device like it's pretty you can tell like this isn't light and airy like it's not heavy either but you can tell the quality of the device just by picking it up it's a quality device um, the other thing that I absolutely loved was all of the different functions of this device so you know uh, this is going to help to save time that's what I love about it. So it's got the red light therapy, it's got the radio frequency, it's got the EMS, um, it's got the cleaning mode, it's got, you know, the ENI where it's penetrating products in the device. And I'm like, holy cow, this is like doing everything. And I've said this before, and I know you know this, but I, this is like the Cadillac of beauty devices I would say. or is it now the Tesla, the, the Tesla beauty devices <laughs> now that we're in 2023? <laughs> I know, I know, I know you had the, I know you said in one of, I guess it was one of, one of your first videos when you said, this is the Cadillac <laughs> of anti-aging devices, but it may, it really it makes sense because it offers so much. People don't have to purchase so many devices just to get the results. But what, what do you feel about the, the modes that it has? Because sometimes having too, too many modes, it can be a bit complicated for some people. How do, how did you navigate uh, into finding your way into using the Lumo because you do a double cleanse, but sometimes you can do the cleansing mode, which is uh, uh, the uh, ion mode. And you see after a double yeah. cleanse, there's so much you can get out. Combined with radio, you're getting the benefit. So how did you, how did well, you find it, the and Also, I just want to touch base to that. Another thing that I loved about this device is um, the amount of time <clears throat> that you use this device. So, being, a, you know, an avid beauty device user, radio frequency is the most time consuming beauty device out there. It's getting better for sure. But this was like, oh, my gosh, I, I only need to do 20 to 25 minutes of radio frequency the entire week. That's amazing. Where some it was like 15 minutes, four or five days a week. That's a lot of time. So um, yeah. that was, I, I, already I was like, I'm sold. <laughs> um, I know, I remember all we had, you were like, I know. What, I, I know. only use this once a week? Yeah, and I, I think also what's good to note too is not to overuse the device. And you guys were really like, when I when you talked to me about that, it's like, don't overuse the device. It's really important. And I thought that that, and it, you know, I really try to make sure I'm letting my people know that too. Don't overuse because overuse as well can, you know, you, you're not going to be probably as happy. So, um, so how do I navigate the different modes? That's such a great question. So um, at first, it was a little like, huh, it was a little complex for me to kind of figure out and how to use it. I've done a whole video on how I use it, but um, I think that uh, for me personally, diving in and, and knowing the amount of radio frequency minutes that you want to use is like, okay, if you want to do 20 minutes for the entire week, how do you want to break that up? And what is your skin goals? Now for me personally, I love the RF plus EMS here. Um, that is really going to help my jawline, and I really noticed that it does, and I love to use that a couple of times a week. So that gives me 10 minutes. Do you see what I'm saying? So then I kind of break up my other RF times, um, and I'll just use the RF mode or the ion mode, and it kind of really, I think that, I think it was Leah from Skin Beautiful RX that said you should really have skin tuition, and I love that. So, and I use that a lot because you really should listen to your skin, and once you start getting into your routine and once you start doing devices, you're going to listen to your skin. What does your skin need? You know, if it's irritated, take a night off. 
you know um and so i like to kind of listen to my skin i like to do the eye on deep cleaning because it's just such a deep clean once a month i usually do that at the beginning of the month um and you know the the penetrating the products deeper into my skin i'll do that a couple of times a week with maybe an rf but i just make sure that i am always sticking within that certain minutes those minutes and it totally makes sense because you want to get the benefits of the radio frequency. So there's a 25 minutes per week of radio frequency that you can get from this device uh, that it, we recommend. So if you're cutting off a few of other steps, then this way you have more time to use the EMS and the RF yeah. in the jawline or depending where you want to use. So that is really a strategy. <laughs> You're really listening to your skin and finding a way towards this because, yeah, for everyone that doesn't know, Vilumo has, it, it is an RF-based uh, device. So all of the modes utilize radio frequency except for the, uh, the last full mode, which you, you can use anytime, even after your skin. You don't want to use any device. You can yeah. use the cooling mode, which helps a lot to shrink the body of that glowing effect, which is amazing. And I can do it, especially when it's mm -hmm. hot out there yep. <laughs> and you're back in it feels them but the radio frequency and this is uh the whole idea why we designed the lumo with this much power is because we want to save time we don't want people to use the radio frequency uh throughout the whole week dedicate so much, much time like half an hour every day to do the device because it's just so hard to maintain we know it's going to bring the result but it's hard to maintain and people are just going to give up so building components for bigger machines, we knew the power, we knew everything on a smaller device. It uses a lot, utilizes great frequency, EMS, LED, so all these combined the effect, but, but we did, made it so powerful that people need to use this only once a week or twice a week, twice a week depending on how they um, mm -hmm. kind of manage to, to use the, for example, they have their yeah. own, skincare treatment or skincare routine device. So it is very uh, interesting. And people, as you mentioned in the beginning, when we had the call, I emphasized a lot that please try to use this yourself only as recommended, but also try to educate everyone to not overuse the device because having too much radio frequency is not going to lead to the, the best results you're looking for. But doing this in a manner that we recommend because the device has been tested, then this way people are going to get the benefits, which also many other factors as lifestyle, food, and other components are going to affect the result. So we try to educate everyone to just try yeah. to lead a healthy lifestyle. Devices are long-term, yeah. so you're, you're looking for long-term results and try to avoid going to the clinic, but you're getting this device at home yeah. and getting the benefits. And um, I, uh, there was a question, I think it was Spacey Tracy, she indicated, um, she asked, you know, how do you know how many minutes? And it does state in the manual. It, it does um, indicate how many minutes to, um, and to use the device for the entire yeah. week. And then I like also that the different modes that you can break up that time if you want. You can do it all in one day and just be done with it for the week, or you could definitely you know, break up your time as you want. Yeah, exactly. And also each of the modes have an auto timer. So if you're using radio frequency only, you're going to have a timer there. So once the session is done, um, it's going to beep and then you turn the uh, mode off and then you can move to the next one. So everything is in the manual, but also the device uh, has an auto timer. Um, except for the Luma, for example, because you're using, you're yeah. getting RF and EMS, for example, from, from, the, do you do also use other modes throughout uh, the week as an LED or anything else? How, how do you um, plan out this session with the Lumo and also the other devices? Well, uh, well, honestly, I have a planner. <laughs> I have a planner. <laughs> so it's on Sundays that I do my whole planning for the week and I do my, exercise routine on what I'm going to do each day. And then I also do my skincare, you know, the days that I'm using my tretinoin, the days that I'm using my Lumo. Um, and so I, yeah, that's, that's how I do it. I like to, uh, in the days that I'm also using my Venus. So um, it really depends again, like um, I have a, a daily planner that I will manage and I will write it in there. 
but I'm also gentle with myself if I can't make that, if something's going on and kind of, you know. But I manage uh, the radio frequency uh, with this. Gosh, I like to do radio frequency on Sunday. And like I said, I like to break up my time. So, um, and it really depends on where I'm at. So, and my routine. So like on Sundays today, and I like to do it in the evening, um, I will do the um, RF plus RF EMS and then the ENI. And then I always like to, the cooling because that's just amazing, and, you know, after you're done. And then I will do another RF EMS during the week. Um, and I'll, I'll just kind of pick the day. I always give myself a couple of days in between because I think that that's important to have, um, you know, not to go back to back. That's just me. I like to make sure that my skin is not over irritated. And I think that's really important as well. You know, giving my, my, because yeah. really all of the magic happens in the healing process. Exactly. You need to give your time the skin time to heal and to regenerate in order to produce that collagen because if you're using too much then you're not giving the time for it to uh create so yeah we recommend that you give them space so that's why i also wanted to know there's a lumo in your life but i know there are other devices that you're also testing so this this was the like there is an led which also are not going to interfere with the benefits of the lumo yeah um, so, so i, to I know, do like, use an led panel um, on my face, and I like to use that after the RF sometimes, and also it really depends on what I'm doing. So um, I find, though, that with this device, with the, the red light therapy on here, that my face isn't as irritated as some um, radio frequency devices that don't have the red light therapy. So I feel like that because we know that, uh, you know, um, red light therapy also, it helps to produce collagen over long, you know, consistent use, but it also is great at healing. So um, mm -hmm. I do find that yeah. it, it, it's not as irritated. Um, yeah. So uh, I do use that yeah. and I also do use microcurrent. So I like to use the zip and I like to do that on the days that I'm not, I'm a beauty, I'm a beauty device and skincare junkie. So I'm not saying people got to do what I do, <laughs> but I just am crazy about it. So, and I like to use uh, the microcurrent. And the reason that I use the, the microcurrent is because I want to make sure that, that with the RF on the Lumo that I'm not using it so much. So, and yeah. I do like the yeah. zip as well for the microcurrent. There's, I like EMS on this part of my face because I feel like it, it helps with this so much better than microcurrent does for me um yeah yeah because it's horrible. and so that's where i like to use my ems and i like to use it um yeah. on the neck as well yeah i i saw a question earlier um if you have rosacea um can you use it or will it help so yeah yes you can use the lumo um it is going to help over time we, the only thing that we uh recommend to everyone is starting with the lowest level so uh, because the skin can be sensitive and through just um, as Jodelyn said, look, look at what your skin is communicating to you. So depending on how you feel, you can start to increase the, the levels, but definitely. Um, just trying to see if there's any question. Um, is Lumo more suitable for sagging skin or eliminating wrinkles? Um, Jodilyn, from your experience, what do you feel? Because you mentioned this, that uh, the EMS is helping with the lifting at the um, this part, but what do you feel about wrinkle effect? Or like, because the radio fr frequency has the uh, wrinkle reduction effect over time, but based on you, your experience, um, Definitely you both, but I think that it's more for sagging skin for sure. But the, when, when you're starting to lift that sagging skin, then you're, you know, you're also like, you're reducing the line, the wrinkle line. So that's why I think it, it's, it's like, there's that both, but, but um, if you yeah. really have those sagging jowls or this area, or just, you know, this area is getting more sagging. Um, to me, radio frequency, that's where you need to need to go. Um, I started with microcurrent yeah. on my journey. So when I started my device, 
journey, I started with microcurrent, and I did see results, um, and I gave that, I think it was three or four months uh, results, and then as soon as I added in radio frequency, that's what took everything to the next level. Um, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. oh, all right, like, this yeah, is I, I was like, wow, and that's when I really noticed the sagginess of my skin lifting. So, um, it, it, to me, it's kind yeah. of like um, the radio frequency is the cardio, and uh, the EMS is like the heavy lifting weight training. If you're if you're talking about if you want to do an analogy, kind of. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. exactly. And it, we try to explain this to our customers as well that um, there's this effect. So, mm -hmm. totally and for sense. the Venus. Yeah, I, was, I wanted okay, to Okay, so the Venus, Venus, this is this to me is 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 brilliant because you can't use our F, you know, around the eye area. It's just too powerful and this area is so delicate. And so you guys have that um instant collagen the red mode. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Right, so it combines radio frequent, uh, thermal heating, uh, LED light, so it includes blue light and red light, and also sonic massage, which you can choose if you want to use right. a, a v vibration. Which, which I love that. I love that because <laughs> there's, you know, and also yeah. there's a lot of, and I thought that was really genius on how you made it. Like if you, like when you turn, oh, I think mine's, yeah, okay, yeah. If you, if you click on this, if you're, fingers here it vibrates my battery needs charging and if you put it on here it doesn't vibrate anymore and I think that's great for people that don't you know want to feel any vibration especially on this this part because you can also use this on the lid which is amazing but I love to use the red mode oh my gosh especially up here I have really Really yeah. found that the, it keeps my the hooded eye of my area from sagging and getting hooded. Um, yeah. And also commenting, I use the Venus daily, and I know she does yeah. because she loves the device so much. And I wanted you to share about this, uh, but yeah, and especially because it, because it doesn't use that much power because of the uh, eye being so sensitive, we utilized. Um, thermal heating, which heats up the skin, which helps uh, produce the collagen, but it doesn't go too deep uh, and to cause any damages. So it, it, it is a very nice, and as you said, if, you, if you're using in the um, red light mode, I see amazing results from different uh, customers that are sending pictures to us. And we, you can see yeah. at the website, there are amazing people leaving reviews. And, and Every time there's a new review, everyone in the team is like, wow, this is amazing. And everyone is like, just have amazing results. And they're like, I've used this for the first session. And we see people doing like half of the face and we try to see the results, which are amazing. And especially because this device could also be used um, on your lips too. And it's an area sometimes we just like because we're focusing so much on our skin and neck and just trying to do the skincare routine. But then you're, you get the Venus and you're like, okay, I'm going to do my. And it helps with the plump and also like the small uh, wrinkles that we get around the uh, the lips. So it's a very nice combination. It's kind of a bundle to cover everything, face, neck, decolletage. And yeah, and I use this, yeah. this on my lips as well. So um, I use, I don't use this every day, but I use this probably about four to five times a week. And I do my eyes and I do the lips. I love it. Yeah. I see. And I do notice a difference I when I stop using this. Like, I'm like, oh, you know, we all get lazy and that, you know, or you have a busy week and you're like crazy busy. Most of the time I'm pretty good at being like 90, 95% consistent, but we all have crazy weeks. Right. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't used my Venus. I need to get this out. And like, I can tell. So it, I love this device. Yeah. 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 And for anyone that is in the beginning of their um, skincare routine or trying to combat the signs of aging, what would you recommend? Because um, as we discussed before, there's a combination of different things that you can do, but there are so many people out there that probably don't have that much time to just say, research everything that is online, what they can do. 
based on your experience, what would you recommend to, to start with? Yeah, in terms of uh, just uh, when you're in this, like, as you said, you didn't mm -hmm. even use SPF or have a skincare routine. What would you recommend for anyone in the beginning and just trying to figure out, okay, Lumo probably is not the first device that I need to go to, but for example, I can use the Phoenix, which has microcurrent, does the lifting, right. and it's, it feels amazing. It's just like whenever you just do this, I need to use this constantly. So what would you recommend? There's LED, there are different technologies in the market. We, uh, we at Evenscan, if anyone wants to check at evenscan.com, you can find different devices that we offer that are mainly focused um, on anti-aging. So, but I would like to get your- I think that the, your skincare routine is absolutely number one. So making sure that you have a good skincare routine and that you're using SPF daily, exfoliating them maybe a couple of times a week, um, and, you know, you don't need to go crazy, just, you know, just keep it simple, but SPF daily is really important and, um, getting your skin ready to be able to use a beauty device. And I think that, um, the first thing, if you're a little overwhelmed is, yeah, I definitely say microcurrent because it's so easy to use and it's kind of just a no brainer. So, and I think also it really depends yeah. on, um, your signs of aging as well. But I think that you will definitely see results with microcurrent that's gonna keep you motivated and that's you're gonna get, you're gonna be happy with. And it's something I think that you can be consistent with because if, you, if you're not being consistent with any device, it's not gonna work for you. And I think, yeah. yeah. So the key is be, be consistent. Patient. Patient. And there's also so. like with the microcurrent, which is nice as well, is that you know you do get that instant effect with microcurrent as well you know because you're just moving around lymph and you're that vibration and you're getting blood circulation going so you're gonna see which i think is um it helps to keep you motivated because um, sometimes like you said if you just go in with an rf device um it, it could you might get a little frustrated because uh you're not gonna see instant results you're just you're just not yeah. um yeah. so if you were only to do just rf with no microcurrent or no ems it's going to take you a little bit longer um so you got to be patient and be consistent so uh you know and also it, when i was doing rf when I first started doing RF, I felt like the first month, my face didn't look as wonderful. And I was like, oh my goodness, what's going on here? But I, I stuck through and it was just my face getting used to the RF. It was more dehydrated and I needed to understand that and work with it and adding in some more hydration. And then by day 60, it was like, oh, okay. And then day 90 and then six months, it just kept continuing to get Better. And so, um, and you know, that's something I think that's important to note too, is to get through the struggle. Somebody is asking, can it be yeah. used with the NERA? So uh, can I answer that question? Yeah, just, so, um, yeah this, because I know you, you can but, use this with the NERA, um, it, it, and, uh, but I would not use it on the same day as the, as the NERA. The NERA is really, really super hot. So that's going to cause a lot of stress on the eye. So, um, you know, I use the Nira. I use the Nira here, but I use it a couple of days. Or I use it most days, about five days a week. And then I like to use this personally for me yeah. up here and the product penetration here. And I will use the blue light mode um, on alternate days. So that's just me. But um, I would not use the red mode with the Nira. I wouldn't do Nira and then the red mode, like you, and you don't need to do that. Yeah. And I just saw another question up there. Um, hoping someone could help answer my question regarding pain and less muscle stem after eight months of use. Um, please just forward this question to our customers. You can reach out directly to us. Uh, we have a very supportive uh, customer support. So uh, forward this question and they can listen to the right team and answer those questions or anything. If you have been using our devices in the past or um, you're trying to get used to everything 
if you have any specific question about your skin condition or any condition that you might have, feel free to reach out and the team is going to be able to, to help. Just trying to scroll and see if there is any question you would like to ask, okay. uh, Jodelyn. How is the red light uh, mode different from using a red light panel? Uh, would you like to take this? That's a good question. Um, so, uh, gosh, red light panel, the red light panel is definitely, it's, I feel like with this, I get a better lift in this area where I don't feel mm. the LED can do that. Does that make sense? So, um, yeah. I, that's me personally. I, I, I don't, I'm not, yeah, that's, that's how I would say it would be different. Yeah, and also like a panel, a much bigger device, so you're getting more benefits from the LED in throughout other uh, parts of the body, because I know there are those big panels, LEDs that people uh, use on their whole body. You can use an LED face mask, uh, which sometimes we recommend for the ones that are not ready to go to the EMS and the RF, which are kind of more powerful devices. You can use the LED face mask or start and it has amazing benefits. I use an LED face mask. Uh, the mirage myself and it feels amazing uh, and sometimes we, we we have a joke in our in our faces it's like before you go to sleep you put the LED face mask and you're just like, like relaxing and you mm -hmm. just kind of start falls because it has relaxing benefits and benefits for uh, your uh, wrinkles it has blue light therapy and yellow light for therapy which um, helps with skin rejuvenation and blue lights blue light is amazing for acne so it would be a nice nice ways to to use the led face yeah mask. And um, says, mary says so i would start with face mask myself it's a great intro to device it, that's such a good point it really is and mary we're so sorry we couldn't have you in this in this uh, live room today uh, but i know you're commenting and yeah this is a question that i wanted to discuss and have your input here because um, yeah, also a question that we get is where do I start because we have the Phoenix, we have the Venus, the Lumo, the lights, uh, LED uh, therapy. So we, we start, we, we recommend every, to everyone to start with devices that they, their skin can tolerate. So as Mary said, I would start with um, a face mask and then you can, as you have more signs of age and you can start with, uh, with a Lumo. Um, yeah, one last question probably I would have uh, for you, Jody Lynn. Do you have any tips or tricks for the Lumo and the Venus? I know you shared a lot. I, sh I know you shared the, uh, the planner, but um, is there any insights you would like to, to share with the audience? Um, as a last point, probably before I make a, an oh, announcement oh, about very the exciting. that we have. Um, yeah, I, for tips and tricks, I think that, um, so for the venus something that i like to use around is that you and i know that you can use eye creams i like to use a serum and i like to use for um i my eye serums that i use here i like to use around here as well like i don't think that you need a dedicated um uh you know lip line reducer your eye cream is going to do wonders for around here that's one of the tips and tricks that i have for the venus um and i always use um you know serums so it because it, that blue is going to um you know penetrate the product deeper into the skin so you want you want to do you want to definitely make sure that you're using don't also use stuff that's irritating so that's really another tip because yeah. then you're going to be bombed and it, there might you might see some redness and you're going to be frustrated and you're like well this isn't working it's like well what what are you using so nothing like glycolic acid retinol all of those things don't need to be penetrated deeper into the skin anyway you want them to actually go a little bit slower <laughs> so you want to use more like peptides growth factors argiline things that which is a peptide yeah. so things are a little bit more gentle but uh you know effective and that that's that's really what i that totally that totally makes sense and um, we also recommend that, uh, because we get this question sometimes, if I'm using um, the, the Lumo, for example, do I need to stop my retinol? And no, you don't have to stop the retinol, but just probably space them out. If you're using this Lumo, for example, 
uh, on Sunday, then on Monday you can do your your retinol uh, and you can continue with more actives if you if you have them integrated. And I also think it's great to use your um, red light. If you have the Phoenix, um, using your red light therapy mask before your uh, Phoenix is uh, another tip to do too. It, it kind of warms up the face yeah. and it gets it ready for that workout that you're going to give it. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, thank you so much, Jody Lynn, for taking the time. This has been amazing. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> we, we would li like to think that you were at the call. I don't know what happens sometimes um, with Instagram. Too, too many. Um, I know we had a hard time to also try and combine and find the right time that it's um, from different three different time zones. So thank you so much for taking your time. I would like to announce uh, that we are having a giveaway. Our team is going to make a uh, live very soon we're going to publish a giveaway on our instagram and we're giving away a lumo a venus and a phoenix so there are going to be three lucky winners uh we're going to randomly se select those people so uh in order to enter this giveaway you uh, need to follow our account um and then comment with the device you would like to get so if you want the lumo you can comment the lumo on the venus or the phoenix just uh mention the name we're gonna uh, randomly select the winner and we're gonna announce uh, the second of, of April, but you will see the details once it's uh, published. And yeah, we would like to celebrate uh, every woman out there who has been actively working um, in empowering women everywhere. So um, thank you, Jody Ling, for doing an uh, thank you. And and um, thank you so much for thank you this call. Thank you so much for having me. This has been so fun. I love talking skincare and devices. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> so I appreciate it. We're often poor people. It's yeah. going to be an amazing routine. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sorry, thank man. you so much. And thank you, thank we you so you. much for everyone. Yeah, we miss you here. Uh, Probably next time we can have another conversation, but thank you so much for everyone who joined. Um, probably, and I hope uh, the lucky winners uh, are gonna get the device, someone who needs the device. Um, I know sometimes price point could be something um, like a concern for so many people. So it's, um, it's a good thing that we managed to do a giveaway and probably um, they can get one of those devices they, uh, they want to use. So yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach us out. I know you can read Jody Lynch. She's very mm -hmm. active in replying comments and uh, sharing with everyone. So yeah, probably we will see each other next time on another live. Thank um, you so much. Bye. Thank you, bye. everyone. Bye-bye. Great day.